Welcome to van build number 34. This is kind of a new layout that we're calling the mini bungalow in a 2023 144 Mercedes Sprinter. It is the all wheel drive, so it already has the four inch lift. And I think this is the brightest blue van I have seen. I love it. It looks great. So let's go inside. So in this layout, we do have a full time platform bed that is modular and removable in the rear. So since we have this full time bed in the back, we wanted to make sure that there was a seating area up front with a swivel table that can kind of act as a table for the front seats if they're swiveled around or can act as a table if you're sitting here at this bench and we made this table as big as we could here so that you have lots of functional space to hang out eat play games whatever you're going to do in your van and again like i said driver's seat can swivel around so that this can also act as a table for both the front seats in this bench we also just made it storage so a ton of extra storage for them they have two large dogs so they wanted to be able to fit dog food in there dog treats i'm sure bowls all that fun stuff kind of going to be the doggy station in there i think so lots of storage there's nothing else in that bench so just functional storage for your van we still have our headliner shelf above the front cab for even extra storage which is a great place to store all of your window covers which are up here our favorite company for window covers is the wonderful we'll link them down below they're completely blackout they magnetize right to the metal of your van and for all the stock windows in the Mercedes Sprinter the Promaster and the Transit now he originally started with the Sprinter and now I think he has them for all of them and while I'm talking about Wonderful the floor mats in the front cab another one of our favorite things from Wonderful just really makes your van cozy and gets rid of that black plastic up there that just shows every single footprint makes it a lot more comfortable next up let's talk about their kitchen it is small but mighty we have the Corian countertops here just turned out beautifully a black undermounted sink with a black faucet plenty of storage underneath their sink and then three large drawers for any of the kitchen stuff on the driver's side we have our 85 liter isotherm fridge and you'll notice this countertop is quite a bit lower than the kitchen countertop and that is because of this massive window we put in here the clients wanted to be able to open up this window and have this slider window and the lock for it's actually on the bottom so for our window frame we had to make sure you could still access that so in order to accommodate the window and the window frame we did have to drop this countertop down but it actually ends up being a really nice height for when you're sitting over here and for cooking because I know a lot of people are going to ask well what are they going to cook we have an outlet here they can plug in and cook on this countertop obviously no backsplash here typically we do install the outlet in a backsplash but because their kitchen mostly is in the sliding door we obviously don't have a backsplash so all in all I think this is a very functional layout mostly going to be used by one person while they're traveling and there's tons of storage for one person all these overhead upper cabinets here and in this one is our electrical control panel which we'll talk about a little bit later everything in this van can be for your electrical system can be read from your phone which is a great feature while you're traveling very high tech we've got lithium batteries all that fun stuff Alex will talk about that later and then we have our bed back here which is very comfortable five inch mattress on here and like I mentioned before this bed platform is actually modular so the whole thing can be taken out but there's tons of storage underneath because we left it open. We do have our electrical system in the bench underneath this bed on the driver's side and the plumbing system in the bench underneath this side on the passenger side because our plumbing only runs to the sink and the outdoor shower which is at the rear of the back bench i think that's it for me now alex will go more into the tech specs of this van i think it turned out beautifully on the outside of this beautiful blue 144 we did our custom rust prevention treatment so you'll notice on the bottom where we have these plastic panels we sprayed those with the black truck bed treatment we spray behind them and all the way down i love the way this looks and it is going to help prevent rock chips and also just that black plastic from fading over time and one of the things we are known for is also protecting the roof so after we cut in the vent fan and the ac unit and all of our pass-throughs for wire lights cables the wee boost that's on top of this one then we also truck bed treat the top which this one is color matched so it has blue truck bed spray on the top and looks really cool we didn't do a ton to the outside of this one we did add our stock running boards we also have the illumines weekender roof rack up there with the fiamma f45s 
manual awning. It is a great option, not as heavy and not as expensive as the Medic powered awning that we have been doing a lot lately. Then you'll notice on the front, again, we did the truck bed spray on the grill, on the front bumper. I just love the way that this looks. And this is again, gonna help prevent those rock chips and that fading that you get up here on the front. As we come around to the driver's side, to access the top of their roof rack, we do have the Illumines ladder on this side. We have a running board for the driver's side as well. And we have two 100 watt rich solar panels up on top to go along with their vent fan and their 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner. This rig is designed to go off grid, to be self-sufficient with the 200 watts of solar. It has 540 amp hours of Battleborn lithium battery as a 3000 watt Victron inverter charger and a full Victron system with two DC to DC Orion chargers. So we're pulling 60 amps off the alternator when we're driving, as well as that shore power plug-in through the Victron inverter charger. And we've got the Victron solar controller as well. So like Sarah said, all of that can be read through the Victron Connect right on your cell phone. And one thing I'm noticing in the van industry lately, that is a difference between us. A lot of companies now are choosing to go with other components other than Victron. Most of it is a price point thing. So we do love the fact that our whole system is Victron, can all be integrated through the Serbo and the Serbo touchscreen and can all be read Bluetooth through your cell phone. As we come around to the back, let's show you what we have going on. We did install the bunk windows here in the back as well. And at the back, we have access to the outdoor shower on this side. We have a nice blue hose to match the outside blue of the van. So this is, if you've seen a lot of our van tours, flipped from what we traditionally do, because normally we're doing plumbing on the driver's side and electrical on the passenger side. But like Sarah said, because our kitchen sink is on the passenger side, it just made sense to do this. And it allowed us then to keep this entire underbed garage area open in the middle. So there's no pass throughs or anything like that. For shore power, we have our custom shore power mount on the hitch down below and we have access to the water filt for the 33 gallon freshwater tank through this hatch on the inside. So no unnecessary holes cut in on the outside of the van. The platform bed is a modular system. This is one of the more popular ones that we've been doing. This is by RB Components. What is really nice about this is it comes in in three sections. It locks into the rails on either side. So it's gonna be totally stable. But then if you want to, you can take the whole thing out for either servicing the van or if you wanna haul something bigger in here. So that is is kind of the end of this van tour. Not a whole lot to say because it's just a 144. We don't have a bathroom to show you. Like Sarah said, this is our mini bungalow layout. I'm actually a really big fan of how this layout turned out. If you don't feel like you need that built-in shower toilet combination in the inside, it gives you a lot of space to sit and hang out up front. And then you've got your platform bed. So you never have to worry about, you know, making your bed up into bed mode. This would work out great if you wanted to add a pull-out bike tray underneath, if that was what you were into. And then you still have the whole back of the van. You could add, you know, additional boxes or whatever on the back or the roof rack. So this is a really nice platform to go from. And I'm excited to hopefully build more of these in the future. So if you are interested in working with us on a custom van conversion, we are currently booking out for 2025. I mean, you definitely want to think ahead if you are looking at ordering an all-wheel drive. This layout, we will be adding to our van layout guide program as well, which is linked down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's something that you would change, a slight tweak in this layout, leave it in the comments down below. We always love to hear these. Just remember, this van was a custom build for a client. This is not a spec van. So everything in here is what the client wanted, what they love. And that is why we love working with our customers. Some clients and a big thanks to our team at the shop for helping build this beautiful van.